Hey girlies, welcome back to a new video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics makeup. This is a way long overdue video, over a month. I am so sorry it took me so long to do this. Um, a lot of the products that I actually got from e.l.f., I got them back on Black Friday, so you guys already know how affordable e.l.f. is, so I only paid half off, which is a better steal. So yeah. e.l.f. is a very good brand, affordable, their products are amazing. Out of everything that I used today, there was only one item that I was not a big fan of, but everything else I truly love, especially this lip combo, oh my gosh, I am obsessed. But yeah, if there is any other kind of video that you guys would like for me to do other brands of full face, comment down below, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up for me, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, girlies, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to be using, once again, the e.l.f. Cosmetics products. Everything is going to be affordable. I am going to try to keep it down full face of just e.l.f. There were about three products that I wasn't able to order. I did get this online um, and a couple of things at store. And yeah, so I will still keep it affordable with the things that I don't use from e.l.f. But here is my box of e.l.f. stuff. I can't even show you. It's just a bunch of little goodies. Um, very affordable guys I got this um, like I was mentioning to you guys back in November for Black Friday this video is long overdue I'm so so sorry it took me some time to do this video and get this up for you guys um, but yeah I got everything half off so you guys already know that elf is super super affordable imagine it all being half off that was a great deal I was like yes that's a steal so yeah Anyways, um, I'm going to stop rambling and get into the products. So, of course, if you guys can see, I have not done my brows. Um, and that is because I did get their pencil as well as their brow gel. So we're going to go ahead and go in with their pencil first, which is this one right here. And it's just their ultra precise brow pencil, which looks like this. So it does have... You know your little brow applicator pencil thing and then the spoolie at the end which i always like um and yeah so let's go ahead and do our brows if you guys know me i normally do my brows with a pomade so it's very different for me to go in with a pencil but this pencil is actually very creamy and pigmented so i did like that um one thing I did try to do this video yesterday. I was not able to do it. I don't know. I would, I just wasn't feeling it. So I am redoing this video for you guys. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, if not, I will leave all my social medias down below so you guys can check it out. But I was just having an off day. It happens. It definitely was a Monday for me. But yeah, so we're going to do this again. Take two. So like you guys saw, I did um, spoolie my hair up ward and just because, and that is just because I'm going to underline my brow, just, you know, following the shape of my brow, just outlining it. And we're going to do the same thing to the top. I am going to comb my hairs downward and follow the shape. So this is the outline of my brows. I did go a little thick, but again, we're going to go in with the concealer just to thin them out and make them look a little bit better. Brows are filled and again, I just used the pencil to fill in my brows. So now we're going to go ahead and conceal them because they are in desperate need of concealing. When it comes to pencil, I don't know why if it's just because I'm so used to doing pomade, but when I do my eyebrows with a pencil I always do them a lot thicker than I would with a pomade um, so I really love the concealer because it helps you fix that <laughs> by the way guys I was able to also order this little thing where you can apply your foundation creams if you want to mix your foundations or concealers instead of just using your hand like I always do you can just use this which I mean, it's totally up to you if you want to order it. It's only like two bucks, so I only paid one. <laughs> I think that's the price, but it's very convenient. That way I don't have to always wipe down my hand. So it's just, of course, um, 
a preference. These brows are done. This is how they are looking. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and prep our eyelids with the e.l.f. primer and I just use the shade Sheer. Now for eyeshadow girls, I was not able to purchase an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. But like I said, I am gonna keep it affordable for you guys. So I'm gonna just use this one from Wet and Wild. Sorry, my little lighting is like throwing it off, but it's this one right here. Um, and it's very affordable, it's under $5. They have quite a few of other palettes that look like this. Um, they're just different colors, but this one spoke out to me a lot because of that baby blue color, but we're not gonna use that today because I am wearing more of a red, so we're gonna keep it brown today. Now the first shadow that we're gonna go in with, I'm just gonna use the orange one. I'm gonna try not to blind you guys with this little thing. But I'm gonna go with this orange one right here and I'm just gonna use that as my transitional color. As you can see, it blends out so nicely, very smooth feels very nice on your lid if you haven't tried these palettes you have to go try them they have again quite a few and some of them are actually dupes for um, the Anastasia palettes I am gonna build up this color just a little bit more so we're just gonna apply a little bit more to the lid and they do build up very very nicely too There's no patchiness whatsoever now that we have that color on, again, I build it up just a little bit. I'm going to go in with this color right here. So first what I'm going to do is apply it on the outer V area, which is going to be right here. And I'm just going to slightly start blending it upwards. And I am using a Morphe brush. I believe it's M433. And I'm just keeping this color in the outer V area. And I'm doing like circular motions to buff it out. Okay, now for the cut crease, I am gonna cut my crease today. I normally just apply the shadows on, but I kinda wanna cut my crease today. And we're just gonna go in with, let's see. I'm aiming for these two colors. Ooh, I can probably mix both. We'll do both. <laughs> now that our crease is cut, we're gonna go ahead and apply the two colors I showed you guys, which is this one and this one. I'm gonna apply this one in the inner part of the lid and then in the middle, in the center, um, I'm gonna apply this color. I'm not gonna spray them guys because I do want you guys to see how nicely these apply without it needing that extra help. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's without me not spraying anything, no help whatsoever. It's so pigmented. And it's so bright, I love it. I am leaving a little bit of space right here again because I'm going to apply that other color in the center. So I'm going to go in with that red orangey one, which just looks like this, and apply that in the center. So that is how the eyeshadow is looking. I am going to add some wing liner and we are going to be using these babies right here as a guide. They're, those are very helpful as well if you're trying to learn how to do wing liner. So now girlies, with the eyeliner, we're going to be using the e.l.f. liquid liner in the color Jet Black. Um, by the way, these are the e.l.f. tapes. I do cut them in half. I feel like you get more that way because they are super, super long if you want to look at them. Um, they're super long, so I just cut it in half and just apply one on each side. First start in the center of my eye. So right there, and just draw it until it stops and hits the line and then I just connect it. I like to do this, um, I like to first like, I like to outline the shape of the wing that I want and then I just connect it.
all right and just like that we are done i filled it in now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye all right girlies so i had to fix this eye i placed it a little higher than this one so it was not coming out right so i had to adjust that you just have to that's one of the things you have to be careful is you got to make sure that you measure them at least you try your best to get them to look the same because if not then you're gonna struggle um one is gonna look higher than the other and we don't want that um so yeah so let's go ahead and take off this one and you guys can see how sharp it leaves it there you go there you have it there is your wing liner that's again a very easy guide if you guys are trying to learn how to draw out your wing liner now for lashes we're gonna go in with these right here these are in the style drama queen they are their fox mink lashes these were so so affordable um here on youtube jasmine juicy jazz she loves these so i had to get my hands on these um and i did wear them yesterday they are so, so beautiful. So if you need some very dramatic lashes, very wispy, these these are very nice. All right, girlies, and lashes are on. So this is how they look like. They are very, very wispy and long and dramatic. I love them so, so much. Um, but yeah, so now that we have that on and our eyes are done, we're going to go ahead and prime our skin. We're going to first go in with the e.l.f. Um, Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I hear this is a good dupe for the um, gripping primer from the brand Milk. So we're going to use this. And I'm just going to do like two pumps. Now with the gripping primers, um, they do have like a sticky sensation, guys. So if, it's, if you're not a fan of a primer leaving you a little sticky um i would not recommend this for you but a gripping primer is meant to hold your makeup longer and also help it not separate so if you want that too um i guess it's gonna be up to you of course um i don't mind it it is a little too much of a sticky formula i don't know if you can like hear it or just see how it just like i don't know but it's still a good primer and it really does hold my makeup in place for a long day. Now, this doesn't do anything to your skin, meaning blow out your pores or just smooth everything out. Um, for that, I am gonna go in with another primer and that one is gonna be the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer. That one is very good for um, blurring out your pores, smoothing out your textures and i'm talking about this one right here i love 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 this primer girls um and i'm very excited because they did come out with more primers from their putty primer collection i guess we can say they came out with the matte putty primer and also a luminous one of course i'm more oily so i'm not gonna try out the luminous one but i do want to test out the matte one um i hear that not only is it matte but it also helps blur out your pores so that is a win-win. This one, I mean, it does help with the pores, but it doesn't really help um, control the oils. So I am in the hunt for the Matte Pretty Primer Girls. Once I do get it, I am definitely going to test it out here with you guys. For the sponge or just like applicator, I guess, for foundation, I gave it out already. I'm going to be going in with the sponge. This is a Total Face Sponge from e.l.f. This is my go to my favorite sponge out there it is so soft and not even wet but it's still so bouncy i've tried it not wet i tried it um wet and i feel like it works amazing both ways i prefer it being wet though because it gets a little bit bigger you guys will see right now i'm gonna um, rinse it up with water um but yeah this is five dollars and it works amazing now for foundation of course we're going to be going in with the elf flawless foundation which is this one right here i did review this foundation girls i will try and leave it down below in the description box um but i did uh do i believe it was a seven hour wear test with this foundation and i loved it i do recommend this foundation I, again i am an oily girl and this still holds it on really really well you guys saw the only area that i was spawning a little bit of oil was my forehead but it wasn't crazy like other foundations sometimes do to my skin um 
but yeah and it was very very nice this is a satin finish formula so I feel like it works both ways whether you're dry or oily this is very good this is how it looks wet girlies if you can tell it did get bigger and it's still so bouncy and so soft I just I love this sponge um, I do have one already, but I'm actually going to throw this one out because I've had it for over a month. So I am glad I got another one because I definitely needed it. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump with our foundation. Um, again, I'm going to be using this little thingy to apply my foundation. Just want to get my hands again. It's totally up to you if you like this. I actually feel like this is very convenient. That way I don't have to put stuff on my hand. <laughs> let's go ahead and apply the foundation. Now I do use one pump for side so half of my face uses one pump and that gives me the coverage i want again this foundation if you guys have not seen my review on it this is a medium to full coverage foundation and it's a satin finish you can build it up but i actually like how it looks um medium coverage sometimes i like looking medium not so full um but yeah this foundation is really really nice on the skin so this is my skin with the foundation it is very smooth if you guys can already tell um it evens out my tone as to the side you can see a lot of redness so again this foundation is very very good um to cover up any blemishes if you do like to build it up if you like to keep it medium it's still minimizes the redness but you if you want to fully cover them you would have to go in with a little bit more but i just feel like one pump on one side of the face and one pump on the other face gives me the perfect coverage all right and the foundation is done so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with concealer you guys know that i don't use concealer very often it is like super rare for me to use um concealer but we're gonna go ahead and do it for today's video since i'm doing a full face of elf i do have their concealer and i'm talking about the elf camo concealer i have it in the shade medium peach and this is a little bit lighter than my tone but it just helps highlight the under eye this concealer is full coverage so a little bit goes a long way and because i don't like to use so much of it i'm not gonna apply a lot like literally that's all i'm gonna apply um and just blend it out it blends out very very nicely it's not too drying for the under eye as well which i like now we're gonna go ahead and set our under eye girls we're gonna be going in with the elf beauty shield setting powder now with this setting powder girls something i do want to point out is um i'm not a big fan of it just because it does crease under my under eye so before i apply it i do blend out my concealer a little bit because it does crease just a little bit under my eyes um but with the powder i feel like if you don't do that before applying the powder it makes it worse it emphasizes it so that is something I don't like. <laughs> now that we went ahead and applied our powder girls, I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows. I like to do that after because powder gets in the brows. So setting it helps it remove it. Um, but we're just gonna use the e.l.f. Brow Wow. And I have it in the shade black, if I can get it out. Okay, and that's how they look set. So if you can tell, they didn't get very very dark but it just helped my hairs get into place and not move around and that's what i like about this i did try it out yesterday and i really enjoyed it now we're gonna go ahead and use the bronzer i forgot to get this one out i'm using the primer infused bronze which is this one right here in the color sunkissed it's gonna go in with my favorite bronzer brush which is the r7 and just get some on the brush and I feel like it's actually the color of the hula <gasps> this I like <laughs> next ladies it's gonna be our highlighter so I am gonna be using this highlighter from them and this is in the color white gold and I used this yesterday and it's very very nice it's very blinding but it's not like how do I say it, it doesn't show your texture 
Um, it more looks like a natural gold whip in, um, but very, very nice, like very blending. So I did really enjoy this highlighter. So we're going to go in with Morphe M510 to apply it. So this is the highlighter, girls. If you guys can tell, it's a blinding, but it's like still, I feel like a very nice glow. I just, I really like how it looks. It makes it look wet. I guess that's what I want to say. <laughs> Last but not least, girls, we're going to go ahead and do our lips. So I'm going to be using this kit. This is from the um, collection with Nabella Noor. Hopefully I said that right. Um, but yeah, these colors, they just called out to me. And I love the fact that it came with a pencil. So we're going to go ahead and apply that on. So girls, the packaging on this is so beautiful. I love it. And of course, it's a nude. Um, you can never go wrong with a nude. So we're going to go ahead and do our lips first we're going to line them out and then go over with the lipstick just like that girlies we are done this is the finished look i love the lipstick and the pencil they are both it's very creamy and so so easy the lips the liquid lipstick if you guys know i do have from elf the color red vixen and that one's a little bit too dry but this one did not feel like that at all so i definitely recommend this and it's like i believe five dollars um but yeah girls this is the final look i hope you guys liked the video everything i used today i loved um one of the things i wasn't a big fan of again it's just the powder um but i feel like going over the concealer before applying the powder helped a little bit but it is not my favorite i can tell you that um but yeah overall everything else i loved i enjoyed and definitely recommend to you guys especially because they are so so affordable and yeah thanks again for watching i love you guys god bless you and i will see you on my next video bye